Hey there, everyone. Okay, as you can see, the transaxle is out, but the uh, steering knuckles are still in place. Hopefully, the music in the background can't be heard too much. I'm not going to be like a certain jackass and start a generator just to piss off people. Nah, it's, it's not right to do that. But anyways, um, here it is. It's out. The knuckles would not come off, unfortunately. I, I tried my best to get these knuckles off. As you can see, there's marks on here where I was even using the air chisel. No damage. There's absolutely no damage on these. These are pretty thick pieces of steel here. I'm not worried about them at all. That's just the inside race right there. Um, obviously, when you're taking these off, you never hit on the aluminum or on the cast, which I never did. Um, I did get a little bit of damage right in there, but nothing major. Just where the hammer missed and uh, hit those a little bit, but there's still more than enough material there that it should not cause any problems. This side here is all good. This side here was the side that was stuck on still, and I never really tried taking it off. I just sprayed it, but it just would not come off. Um, I had all these uh, brackets on the bottom removed, and I gave it a few hits. I used the chisel a little bit. It wouldn't budge at all. The uh, left side did move a bit, but it just would not come off. So, unfortunately, I know a few people, the uh, Nick, did did uh, give me a suggestion. A few other people did give me, did give me uh, suggestions on how to get these off. I used all the suggestions other than putting heat on here, but I don't, I don't have torches. I just have a propane torch. I don't have a torch set. So, other than heating them up, really, they would not come off. So it's really, uh, one other way I'm thinking about, you could get them off if you really want to. Take the transmission apart, pull the axles out, and you'd be able to turn these knuckles and pop the axle right out that way um, if you really wanted to. This side here, there's a bit of play in here. As you can see, I re-greased everything. This side here... That's a bit as well. There's not as much grease on this side. So you can't hear it slurping nearly as much. But uh, it's all off. It's all good now. Um, ready for mock-up on the uh, tractor tomorrow, the frame at least. This here probably won't be put back in for a while. I also need to get the engine unbolted in that. It's hopefully sold. I'm not crossing my fingers on that, that it is sold or not. Um, more on that story later. If it does go, I will disclose on how, what's what's going on with that engine. So, Billy, it's, it's been a busy day. I had uh, some generator issues as well today. Um, it's it's just been a busy day. Um, I got this done finally. So, how I ended up doing it is, yep, I had to cut the bolts. Luckily, you can actually remove the brackets. And cut the one bolt, and it gives you enough clearance you can actually turn that knuckle and actually get the other bolt out in one piece. That's what I end up doing on both sides. So knock off the one bolt with the grinder, turn it, and you're able to pop the other bolt through, and it slipped right out. Kind of wish I would have did that right from the beginning, but I had to try and get these out the way everybody says they will come out, and it just would not come out. So the plan is to mount the uh, frame piece, which I'll show you in a second, and then this here will actually be able to slide in and out. Also, subtle side note, I've seen with, uh, when a lot of people do these, they don't even use those uh, four bolts, two on each side. Um, those are basically the uh, factory location bolts. Um, if this was a regular transaxle without the knuckles on the end, basically that's where it would bolt up to the tractor, is that location right there. This is essentially a regular transaxle, besides having that hole right there. I've actually looked at other peerlesses. They actually have that spot for that hole, but they're just not there. And besides having that and splined axles, this is a regular transaxle. So here it is. It's out. Everything's all good. Other than the little bit of play in the U joints, is if there is a U joint repair kit for these, if someone could put a part number in the description below, but I highly doubt there is. These are not not very new uh, transaxles. These are quite old. Uh, I don't even think you can get these brand new anymore. I imagine you cannot. So, but anyways, it's out. It's all ready to go. I just got to um, 
I gotta get mock up done on the front of the other tractor. I gotta get the engine out of that one. I gotta get the uh, front end out of that one. Get the steering linkage off. Get it up on jack stands and start mocking up and figure out where everything's going. And I'd like to tack everything in tomorrow, weather permitting and depends on how I feel and everything else in life. So that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to him later. Please keep redneck like always, and like always, thank you for your comments and suggestions on how to get this apart. But it's apart now, which is pretty good. Bye for now.